So what can you tell us about your character in Chatroom? Uh, I play Jim uh, and he uh, goes onto the chat room kind of looking for someone to talk to, essentially, like everyone does, but not with anything directly in mind. He's not got any aim. He just goes there to talk uh, and unfortunately stumbles upon uh, this group who um, fill the void in his life, but not necessarily to benefit him. Um, have you ever used uh, internet chat rooms yourself? And do you think that sort of the way uh, the interaction is portrayed on screen is, is accurate of, of how young people uh, sort of talk to each other online? Yeah, I, um, I haven't used chat rooms myself actually. I did use. I went through the whole um, MSN Messenger craze in when I was like thirteen or whatever it was. Um, but I think actually the dialogue is incredibly realistic. I was a bit worried when I first read the script that it was. It felt very artificial and very um, forced, but. I actually went on a chat room, quite a few chat rooms and tried out some of the lines because it's so easy to research because you know I don't have to get into character or get into costume or anything, I can just go on and type the lines in. So I went on quite a lot of chat rooms and introduced myself as Jim and was 15 and from here and here and here. So, um, and actually I found that if anything it was more, more reserved than reality. Normally they, they just come on with their problem immediately, there's no introduction, there's no all that stuff you see in the film at the start actually is often just eliminated entirely and they just go straight into their life story and everything they're worried about. The character you play in the film is obviously quite a sort of complex, uh, troubled character. I mean, did you do any research from, from that perspective into um, the sort of types of conditions that Jim, Jim was feeling and the way he was feeling from that angle? Yeah, well, I, I went on the chat rooms and I... <laughs> Perhaps it was a mistake, but I did pick the chat rooms which were set up either by the government for um, depressed teens or for uh, just ones that were made by um, individual users. But I also looked at how the when, we, when the first script came through, there's actually quite a lot of detail about um, what medication Jim was on and uh, how long he's been on it for, and quite a bit, quite a lot of backstory, um, which was really useful to look at. Um, but generally, it just involves sort of waking up every day knowing that you're going to spend your day sort of trying to stay in that mindset of being able to switch into some, some, a character that depressed and that kind of chemically altered from yourself every day. It was quite, quite challenging. What was it like to work with uh, sort of Hideo Mikasa? Do you think that he brought some of his sort of famous horror sensibility to the film? Yeah, Hideo is incredible. He's very, um, very sort of intense on set. He knows what he wants. and. He, he might not be able to communicate it perfectly all the time because obviously his English is quite limited, but you don't really need the words. You sort of look into his eyes and he'll show you the shot and he's very good at showing you with his hands every, everywhere with the cameras going and, and the way the scene's going to work. Um, and he's very good at sort of raising the stakes, raising the emotion in the scene.